a weapon in the fight against opioids. Uh, Narcan is the first FDA-approved over-the-counter drug to reverse opioid overdoses and is available at drugstores starting today. Health and science correspondent Lindsay Thies spoke to the drug manufacturer and advocates, advocates about the rollout. The purple pinwheel in Michelle Leopold's front yard symbolizes overdose awareness. She's a tough mother fighting against fentanyl. Her firstborn, Trevor, died when he was only 18 in his dorm room after taking a pill laced with the opioid. She told us about him. He was an adventurous eater from the start. By age four, he loved sushi and Brussels sprouts. He always was uh, inquisitive and loved to know how things worked, loved to learn about animals, about rocks, uh, anything nature. I do feel like he is here supporting me in this activism. This week, Narcan rolls off the production line and onto drugstore shelves. The nasal spray, the first FDA-approved over-the-counter med to reverse opioid overdose. It comes as three in 10 U.S. adults say someone in their family has been addicted to opioids, health policy research firm KFF says. More than 109,000 Americans died from a drug overdose last year, according to the CDC. In early September, you should start seeing it in the big retailers like a Walgreens and a Walmart and as we go through the month of September access and availability of Narcan will continue to spread to regional grocery stores, independent pharmacies and the like. So now when you go into the pharmacy for just under $50 you can get a box of Narcan and it's going to include two doses but advocates worry that it may still be too expensive for some. If it's going to be something they don't have necessarily somebody in their immediate circle that they're concerned about. They just want to be a good Samaritan that's doing the right thing. I think that $44.99 is pretty expensive. For a lot of people, it's going to be a barrier. A lot of people. We have people who work regular nine to five, bank, IT, other jobs. Um, they can afford Narcan at the pharmacy but many cannot. Chris Brown runs a harm reduction program in Northern California, one of many that distributes free Narcan and generic naloxone. They can give out about 180 boxes a week. Here in Marin County, out of a population of about 265,000, it's about every six days that somebody fatally overdoses. He says fentanyl is a razor's edge with a tiny margin for error, but more naloxone access is a big step, helping fight stigma and save lives. Manufacturer Emergent Biosolutions expects widespread availability by the end of the month. Lindsay Thies, Scripps News, Marin County, California. Well, Narcan is now available for purchase. It's widely available across Tucson at no cost. Pima County provider provides it to hospitals, businesses, and recovery centers for free. One of those locations is changing Lane's recovery on Broadway. Director Lenny Williams says he gives away around 30 doses of Narcan a month. We provide it to you. No ID required, no questions asked. Just come on in anytime. It's wonderful to have just in case. I mean, you never know. You may save somebody's life. So far this year, the Arizona Department of Health Services says nearly 200 people have died from overdoses in Pima County.